Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alexander Belskis. I'm a CEO of Imperial Company. And because I'm going to pitch about the sewage sludge after the sea green, so it's the same bigger problem you could, you could imagine, uh, which actually uh, has every city, like a big one, small one, and medium-sized one. And uh, so maybe a bit, a, bit, a bit deeper, so sewage sludge is a waste of wastewater treatment plants, and uh, it's considered as valuable resource because it contains uh, like a nutrition, like phosphorus, uh, but there is uh, also different nasty stuff. And let's take a look at the, some statistics. So if you look at the red pie of the chart, it's incineration. It's the second most uh, traditional way of uh, disposal road currently. And uh, incineration, it's like previous presentation was mentioned, it's uh, mostly uh, done by large cities. So this is cost efficient and traditional technology for that one. Uh, but we look at the larger part of it, it's application to agricultural land. And why they do it? Because of this valuable phosphor inside. But besides the uh, uh, fertilizing, it's also poisoning the soil because there is like nasty stuff like pathogens, antibiotic micro microplastics and heavy metals. And all this bad stuff goes into the soil and later to the food, what we eat with you. And besides that, it's also emit methane, so making harmful for the, for the atmosphere. So um, what's about current situation? So there are available technologies and incineration for the large scale. Uh, HTC is coming into force, but most probably it will be cost efficient for the large scales, not for the small ones. And there are actually, according to the current situation, there are not cost efficient solution for the small and medium size. And there are more uh, of the small and medium size cities rather than the big ones, which already has a solution. And uh, we are ready to bring the solution, uh, which is cost efficient. And it will be two times even cheaper for utilization comparing with the current very high gate fees. Um, it's a solution which will be efficient, automated, and uh, easy, easily integrated. And it's compact, it's small size, and it's orientated for the cities from the size from 20 to 200,000 population equivalent. Um, it's actually the thermal treatment, so it's traditional incineration, which already in place with the larger cities. But uh, according to the design, uh, innovative design of the equipment, it's done for the small scale, which is high efficient. And what we do, we use the thermal energy uh, from the sludge for the drying the next part of, of sewage sludge. And then we make this closed loop without requiring any additional site energy like natural gas, wood chips, and so on. So it's running by itself. Uh, some elements are patented. We do have a patent in the United States and uh, Eurasian countries, pending in uh, Canada and European countries, and also pending some other countries. Uh, so we have a team, strong team of PhDs, thermal physics and mechanical engineers. And we are talking here about like global 5 billion markets uh, aiming to 500 millions for these small facilities, uh, mostly in Europe and North America. And uh, we'll be able to go for the commercial sales within like two years. And uh, currently what we do, uh, we realize in a pilot project in Latvia, uh, together with Ina Energy and uh, also Norway Grant. And next year we are going uh, to start building the first commercial sale uh, the first commercial unit, uh, and we are negotiating with some Polish customers. One of them is Viola, actually. And yeah, and for this reason, actually, our ask is uh, two and a half million. This is what we are going to raise to open the round uh, Q1 next year. So yeah, if you are interested, please reach me. Uh, why Imperia? So we consider that these small towns and medium sized towns, it's like a blue ocean because. Currently, they just dispose their sewage sludge to the agricultural land and it's not cost efficient and the legislation started to push on them very, very hardly. Uh, water purification for every city it still will remain uh, critical and uh, it will not disappear and also sewage sludge will not disappear. So it's, it's, it's all, all the time uh, remains a problem. And besides that, I didn't mention that actually the 
ash, what we will receive at the end of our process, it will be very rich of phosphorus. So here we're also talking about the circular economy and the phosphor is uh, actually imported resource from uh, China and Morocco currently. So we are also like uh, supporting this circular economy approach. So thank you very much. Please come to our stand 23A. Yeah, uh, next to Sea Green and talk to me about cooperation opportunities. Thank you very much. Thank you.